Howdy, howdy. Thank you for coming back to my channel and watching my series on building out my expedition camper. And this has been quite a project, but we're finally moving forward with building out some kitchen cabinets, gluing those down, installing the first big major appliance, which is the first of two fridges, and as well as only the first of some other big appliances, which I'll talk a little about in this video. And so finally, after installing the bed framing, or at least some of the cabinet framing and also the supports for the bed. Now we're moving on to that kitchen cabinet and getting those big appliances in, which is great. And so let's talk a little more about that. So some days you feel like you're getting some things done and today's one of those days and it feels really great to be getting some things done. I've got the bed platform cabinets on both driver and passenger side glued in and my initial supports for my bed platforms. I keep looking, I'm going, oh my God, did I get them glued in the right spot? I hope so. Because once they're glued in, they're glued in. Um, they look good. Uh, they look great. I'm, I'm pretty stoked about it. So I can't wait to get more of that stuff glued in and the framing put up because I have a lot of pieces of this framing that needs to go in its proper place and build this thing out, keep this thing going here. But one thing happened today, and I'll, I'll really back up, and it started with yesterday. I uh, went ahead and I had my buddy Chris, he was coming over and so we could go for a mountain bike ride together and so I knew I'd have an extra set of hands to, to help out. So I opened up the garage doors and I reorganized some things and uh, that include the appliances. I really have four appliances, that's right, four, well, four major appliances going into this. I, let's just call it six appliances total. A microwave, which I found in my camper van, I use that for 90 8% of my cooking, and uh, it compared to the induction stove I hardly ever use. The microwave is just so darn convenient, but on extended travels, no doubt about it, induction stove is, is definitely ideal or very nice to have. The other one I use a lot of at home is a toaster oven, which I do not have on my camper van, so I have a toaster oven ready for this camper here to go in. It can also act as an air fryer, it can cook pizza, it can bake cookies or banana bread or loaves of bread and obviously make toast. So there's a lot of things I can do with this, it's really fantastic. So I'm really excited to have that in here too, because that is appliance at home I use a lot. And so that'll be a nice luxury to have here. The other luxury for sure is going to be a small wine fridge. And so that wine fridge, it holds only six bottles, but it'll keep them at their ideal temperature. And so it's always be nice to have some wine on hand or beer or other beverages in that fridge and then out of the other fridge. Because I found in my main fridge, in my camper van, that bottles of wine just always roll around in there and they kind of mess up the food. And they, they, isn't really, they don't really stay in the regular fridge well at all. And so it becomes more of a nuisance. It's kind of a pain to keep them out of the camper van because if you're in warm climates and the wine just gets warm and it's the kind of the bottles of wine tend to be in the way of other things. Uh, I think that having the wine fridge in this camper will be a really nice addition. Just keep those bottles contained in the right place, whether it's shut off or turned on in a low temp, a moderate temp, just to keep them from getting too warm. That's really all it's needed. It doesn't weigh that much or take up much space, that whole wine fridge. The other one, it did get installed today, thanks to my buddy Chris helped me lift that in there after I reorganized things in the garage, basically dug it out of some other things and got it positioned around onto in a place where we could lift it up into here. Uh, is that first fridge, and that's a, a Vitro Free Grow travel drawer fridge freezer, either one combo, meaning that either drawer can be a fridge or a freezer. You just set the temperature for either one, and you've got it. And so that's going to be fantastic. You go make a, a run to Costco and load a bunch of frozen goods, for example, or Trader Joe's or something like that, same thing, a little bunch of frozen food, or going on a long trip, stock up on a bunch of frozen food to start with and then gradually move it over to the refrigerator, right? And if you're just going out uh, to have a party uh, with a bunch of friends, a barbecue or something, all you need is a bunch of beer or other cold beverages stored, hey, turn it into a fridge and just fill it up with those beverages, whatever it may be. So it'll have that ultra convenience of either one. There'll be a main fridge above it, there'll be a pullout normal door, swing open door. Anyways, bottom line is we got that installed. So let me show you. So, and I say installed, let me, let me, let me clarify. It's in the camper. I still have to do a couple modifications. I was waiting to get it in here before I go ahead and make the final adjustments to the cabinet framing so that it fits right in nice and tight because it gets bolted into the cabinet framing. So I've got it now just sitting here right now. The, the trim is off. Um, so that we made sure we didn't, you know, bend that when it came in since that was uh, fairly weak. And so anyway, so it's in here now. 
And I'm excited for this. This should be really great. And so I'm going to go ahead and get that framing fixed up. And so it is able to be mounted in. I can mount it in probably myself just fine and get this into its, its final resting place and be done. That's one appliance of the six out of the garage into the camper. And then that allows me now to put the wine fridge, which is going right next to it. I already have that space provisioned here and set up for the adjust for the temp, the measurements that I have for that. But once I have this fridge in, that'll fix those, those measurements onto one side for the wine fridge. And then I go ahead and get that wine fridge installed fairly easily. It only weighs about 25 pounds, but I can get that installed and in its proper place. And so then that really allows me to button up the rest of this cabinet this kitchen cabinet this side start getting things prepped for drawers and things like that so I can also get the drawers made for the side which is a big really big and before I do get the drawers installed of course I can order the slides and also get electrical and stuff like that's gonna be the basis cabinet get that all finalized as to what's going to go in the basis cabinet some fuse panels and things like that that'd be accessible and the drawers pulled out but out of the way otherwise and so not taking up storage space and stuff and so that can get down there the way and finish up the plumbing um, the interconnect between the two tanks in the side and over to the other the two tank other two two tanks on the other side and then once that's in, I can do the same thing with the washer and dryer over on this side, which would be really awesome as well. Get that set up. So I've got things kind of queued up here. Let me see if I can give you, I don't know if you're going to see much here. But that'll all be queued up over here. So I've got the ready for that washer and dryer. This fridge cabinet is all ready to go in. I mean, it could be completed. I'm just waiting for that washer dryer to come in so I can finalize also this one. And then I should have cabinet framing I believe next week for the upper cabinet on the on this side so I can finish building that out after I get the bed cabinets built out. So having the bed cabinets built out, I can build out the bed, get that platform built out, put all that hardware that's in there, the slides and everything like that, order up the lunar actuators that are going to control that stuff, which are about the only thing left I have to order for that. Get the rest of these cabinets installed over the kitchen here and also I have to finalize design for the upper portion of the bench cabinets. I have a rough design, a pretty, a, let's just call it about 90% design, but now that I have my final dimensions that these cabinets are built on both the kitchen cabinets, um, I can get those uh, finalized and get those materials, the cabinet framing, ordered up and so I can get that installed, which is the last really big stuff, and then what I'll call the living space, the kitchen, the dinette, and the bed area. And then uh, the bath area, I've already ordered those cabinets, so those will be coming here, or the materials for that cabinet framing, so those will be coming here probably also in about a week. Which means, before I can install those, I've got to cut this pass-through, so i got to finalize that. So I may actually work on that this weekend a little bit, you know, when I've got some time uh, this weekend to do that. So I'm really excited for the potential or the opportunity to do that. It's going to be a really, really, really big one to get done. So there's a lot happening here. I am thrilled to be getting materials installed. And coming up, we're going to do that. Not just going to install more of these lower kitchen cabinets, but also install the washer and dryer and the wine fridge and also the water system and start getting all that system installed. So lots coming up in these next couple of videos.